What is up everyone, Chris Roma here, aka Roma Aquatics. Been a while since I've been made a video, been very busy um, moving the room, moving stuff around, um, and once again I'm moving stuff around, so I'm building another one of those uh, racks for a 50 gallon low boy um, by Zoomed tank. Um, I was going to do the cinder block thing, but it's taking up a little bit more room than I'd like I was going to do. Um, stack them one on top of the other uh, but then I decided I was I think I'd like them side by side just a little island here with them both next to each other right there so building a new rack uh, exact same thing as that so I figured I'd show everyone how I do it uh, let's get started so to start we're gonna need some two by fours uh, cut to size so we have four pieces that are 48 inches we have eight pieces that are 40 inches we have four pieces that are 21 inches, and we have four pieces that are 33 inches. Uh, that's what we need, cut to size. So here we're gonna start with uh, the four 48 inch and the four 21 inches, and we're gonna basically put them together and make two rectangles. Uh, and what those rectangles are going to be are there's going to be this top rectangle and that bottom rectangle. So we want to make sure we have the 21 piece part inside the 48 inch part and that we do that on both sides. So this corner right here, um, the wood is warped a little bit or not quite planed correctly. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a clamp and I'm going to clamp it together so I can put the screws in to kind of square it a little bit better. So now we're gonna take the two rectangles we created and our 40 inch boards, there should be eight of them, and we're gonna make a bigger rectangular cube. So now that we have our cube, we're going to take the remaining four 40 inches pieces and we're going to put the legs on the opposite ways. Now that we have something that looks like a stand, it would actually be a mistake to put uh, a tank on this the way it is right now. Um, not because it's wobbly, because once we put weight on it, it will self-level itself out. So I'm not worried about the wobbliness. What I am worried about is all of that weight is supported by nothing but those screws that are holding the top rectangle to the leg here. Um, so none of the weight is actually supported by the wood. It's all going down onto those screws. Uh, not necessarily a great thing. It might be able to hold it, but I don't really trust it. So that's where these uh, extra four 33 inch pieces of wood come in. What we're gonna do there is we're gonna put it right in this piece here. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna support these two pieces of wood. So the weight of the tank pushes down on these two pieces of wood. They push down on this so on and so forth down into the floor. None of the weight is on the screws, it's all on the wood. We're good to go. I 
forgot to mention that if there you put this in here and there is a slight gap and it's not tight, ideally you'd want to kind of almost have to hammer this piece of wood in uh, so it's nice and firm in there and you don't have any wiggle room. So you can take some little shims, just take another 2x4 and shave some little pieces off of it and uh, use it as shims. Just stick it in there so that's wedged in there nice and tight. So here I just have a thin piece of plywood or similar. Uh, normally you want to cut this to two foot by four foot if you want it like this. Um, in my case, I actually decided I wanted a little shelf in front of the tank for me to put my things on. Uh, so I cut it to like 33 inches instead of uh, 24. Got a little bit of extra shelf right here. Uh, but basically what we're going to do is you're just going to put screws in all along the perimeter and uh, put the top on. Here we have the final product. Tank's on there, looking nice. Sump fits nicely under there. Tank fits nicely on top. Have enough room for a little shelf here. There's enough room for plumbing here. Um, that tank over there is gonna end up sliding in right here. And I'm actually putting the doorway there and that 75 gallon's gonna get built into the wall right there and this is all getting moved. Uh, but. Super happy with the product. Stay tuned for the rest of the build. Um, I will have a video on this sump as well. I have some 3D printers behind me here and I did design uh, this sump myself and um, basically how it works, the water flows in through here, fills up that chamber, it'll overflow down through here into the two filter socks, flow through that hole into this chamber around the bio brick flow out through here into the skimmer chamber where there's a protein skimmer. We have an adjustable uh, weir here basically that this slides up and down to adjust the water level in the return tank. And then we have the return pump, pumps it back up. Uh, but that's it for this one. Thanks, uh, Roma Aquatics, out.